Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And what a difference a day makes. All of a sudden, everything is all rosy and good in the world again, as China came out with much better than expected trade data today. And we'll have a look at that in a little second. But basically, global stock markets have cheered the news. Global equities have pushed higher. Uh, the dollar uh, against the yen has, uh, has completely re rebounded. And uh, we've seen some interesting moves in commodity markets. Gold's come off quite, quite a lot. And um, crude, we'll look at that from a charting perspective in a second as well. So um, can we trust the, the news coming out of China? It seems to have come at a very opportune time. Very interesting question. Um, but the market certainly are just taking it as, a, as gospel at this stage anyway. So um, other kind of news out there is more rumors as ever. Rumors, rumors, rumors about Saudi Arabia and uh, Russia coming to an oil production freeze albeit that would be at all-time record highs ever, blah, blah, blah. And uh, obviously, we're not going to have another Iran uh, anytime soon coming into the picture with a whole huge amount of, uh, of supply to depress prices. So perhaps we are potentially reaching a little bit of a bottom on the uh, with West Texas crude uh, going forward. So we had had a big move up, it's a bit of a sell off and then another acceleration to the uh, to the upside. So that is the current fundamentals impacting the markets today. So let's go ahead and look at things as ever from a technical analysis perspective. So looking at the US 30, you can get an idea as to how strong yesterday's candle was. Bullish engulfing pattern. Again, another decent day today. We're a little bit off the session highs. 82% of CMC markets clients are currently long, but it kind of feels uh, that this, uh, this is getting a little bit of extra momentum behind it. Um, Albeit we need to break above the tip of this candle to have any type of re-challenge between 79 and 79. Um, and then you can see that we did have a sell signal in a slow stochastic, but that's already come through. Then the technicals are relatively neutral right there. We might be getting potential support by that 21 period SMA, and that does give you a bit of a flavor of that. I'm gonna make that red just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see at home as well. And to be honest, I normally like to make this one black just so we can get a flavor of where we are. I like to be a traditionalist. So moving quickly on to the UK 100, finally breaking out of that range, beautiful technical breakout. And actually we're not a uh, stone's throw away from 63.23. If we are lucky enough to continue that momentum and break higher, then 64.53 uh, could be the next potential support level. But we are miles away from the highs that we had there in March. So it kind of feels like a long time coming. And that's a decent move actually, from 5,500 back to where we are just now. It's about a thousand point move in just uh, two and a half months or two months if you take it from here to here. That's a decent move. Moving on to Japan 225, another decent uh, move to the upside, obviously help with the fact that we have had this rebound in dollar yen we talked about. Uh, we're getting quite close to those dual moving averages. It'd be interesting to see if they provide any level of resistance. Um, we are, we have just broken through potential uh, resistance at 16,384. Be good to see if we can get a close. Decent move yesterday, a decent move today. We're still at the top end of the range. 60% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long. So let's have a look at dollar yen. So dollar yen is, uh, is the kind of the, the, the driver. The moves are not as extreme in dollar yen as they are, uh, I don't want to say extreme, but they're not as powerful as the moves as what we've seen on uh, the Japan 225. You've got the double whammy of the turnaround in the yen and also that, uh, that better than expected Chinese data. Uh, but as you can see, we do have, arguably you could kind of say this is like a kind of a shooting, it's not a shooting star, but a, a, it's not really a hammer either, but you've got this kind of doji formation at the bottom of that, of a downtrend and followed by, by two decent candles. You could get a little bit of a rebound. It kind of feels like, from an FX point of view, things really haven't changed too much for, uh, for, for dollar yen. Um, so just be careful if you're trading this product. But uh, 110 is the uh, potential resistance. So looking at West Texas crude, decent break higher yesterday, uh, comfortably above 40 spot 79. Uh, looks to be, uh, this is us on the daily on the daily interval. If I just quickly go into five minutes just to have a quick look at that. You can see decent break up, move down, way too much. We're getting quite close to that uh, 40 spot 79. This could be a very interesting level if you are a short term uh, technical trader. It looks to be that we're getting, we're getting a retracement pretty much back to that level right now. If we are lucky enough to continue to see a push to the upside, 42.95 is the next potential resistance. Looking at gold, gold retreated, um, not an extreme move. 
This is a, such an ugly formation to have right here. 79% of CMC Markets clients are currently long. The other technical is relatively neutral, though you do have a buy signal on the MACD. Um, this still feels a bit like a head and shoulders formation, but we've not yet had a, a break of that neckline. Um, it's not really choosing a proper big direction. If this goes longer term, it could be an ascending triangle formation, to be honest. Um, if we continue along this path, so we'll just see which way it develops. Finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. So the Euro tried to rally, failed. So it tried to break through um, potential resistance, failed to do that, and then has retreated. The long look at candles here and here, there's a battle going on just now with the Euro. The Euro wants to try and push on higher. Um, there's different forces at play just now. It'd be very interesting to see who wins the battle. The Euro is perhaps, well, I can see here based on the technical indicators, it is overbought. So there needs to be a little bit of gas, a little bit of steam taken out of the pipe, so to speak. But the question is, are we going to get a retreat back down to one spot 11? Or are we going to punch through one spot 1480, uh, 1489? Or are we going to try and rechallenge the tip of this candle right here, close to the one spot 1714? And then finishing up with GBP USD, um, does look like a descending triangle formation still in development. Um, a bit of a retreat yesterday as well on the G GBP. It was much higher, then got beat back down again. The other technicals are relatively flat. Okay, so having a quick look at the market calendar to finish things off as ever, and uh, it is giving you a bit of an idea of what to, uh, of what to expect. Trade balance data, as you can see, uh, that completely smashed the estimates. Uh, estimates exports much, much stronger than expected. Um, the imports uh, less than the, than, than the forecast as well. So they imported a lot less as well. So exported a lot more, imported a lot less. Overall, quite a, quite a positive, rosy decision. And we also had a bit of a revision there as well on the previous exports, uh, but that's actually revised slightly down. Uh, but nevertheless, still very, very tasty results. We do have the crude oil stocks due later on today. And uh, on Thursday, you got CPI from Eurozone, interest rate announcements from Bank of England, CPI from the US and employment claims. And then finishing up with more Chinese data. This looks to be even more important uh, this week than, uh, than ever. If we continue to see these coming out quite positive, that just builds confidence in the resurging uh, Chinese economy. And then we finish up Friday with industrial production and uh, consumer sentiment survey data. Well, guys, that's it for me. Very good luck with the trading. Join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.